Hey. Hey. Okay. Hi. Okay. Declan, Hi. welcome to the podcast. Welcome uh, to D and D. D&D. Um, Let me get my drill. So, is everybody? <laughs> I personally <laughs> okay. am okay. ready. We lost Christian. We lost Christian for a second. Already? Wow. New record. Oh no. We got a drill. All okay. Right. So, Christian's back. Uh, episode with a drill. one. With a drill <laughs> and a drill Start. battery. Okay. Welcome to uh, episode one. Uh, so for starters, uh, let's everyone in- introduce yourselves and who you play. Okay, you start. Let's start with Liam. Not me. Okay, let's start with Christian because he's already. Hi. Um. Himself. So basically, I'm Zen Onyx. Uh, call me Zen or Zenny. I don't know. Either one is fine. Uh, I like bread with maple syrup. And uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a fallen angel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lauren, introduce yourself. I'm Lauren. I play Nia Nyoto. Uh, I'm a elf ranger druid. And I have a cat named Willow. Who I mistakenly called cat for all of session zero. Um, Shay, introduce yourself. Um, oh, Lord. Of course, my name's Shay. Um... The character I play is Elendor, and I am a Sun Elf. Uh, and finally, Liam, introduce yourself. Hey! Yeah. Okay. My name's Liam. I, I play a human called Rogzeal Sendror. Who we refer to as Zeal. As Seal. Like a R, R you know? Like Seal. I'm, I'm, the okay. char- I'm the charisma of the party. Now comes that's yeah, technically. Uh close. only in stats, in stats alone. Um <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay, How are you yeah. Doing? We, he's got a certain air of charisma to him. Uh now air charisma. here comes the part of the introduction where I go off on a five minute rant expo- uh explaining what the hell happened to get us here. So, um be it through methods of uh Is that your foot? <laughs> okay, carry okay. on, Declan. I mean, yeah, yeah, Dragon yeah. Uh, Dungeon Master. Be it through methods of mindless wander, or uh, zealous adventure, or uh, fleeing from forces beyond your control. Uh, one way or another, uh, three of our four adventurers had found themselves in purgatory. The bar, not the state of being. Although it feels more like purgatory as they all reach a point in their life with no uh, true meaning or uh, really purpose and direction. And as they find themselves in this bar, they had uh, they had angered a, a duo of drug dealing uh, of drug dealing ogre uh, brother and sister. Um, and they had stolen a sack of uh, cigars. Uh, magical cigars as they made their uh their flee from purgatory uh they uh heard the wailing bell of the saint valentino's anchor and uh they made their way to the fast escape from the small port town that they found themselves in uh shipping off to sea as stowaways um when they find themselves asking around for where they may be headed. They find themselves on course and charter for the kingdom of Adizia, uh, a place who conveniently is willing to provide a uh, pardon for any uh, criminals who finds its way to their shores in exchange for military service. Um, in addition to our band of stowaways, uh, there is a a uh, rather keep to herself woman uh sitting below deck amongst all of the the gamblers and the crewmen and their drinking and gambling uh wearing the holy symbol of a moon impaled by a sword uh gently reading through her holy manuscript uh clad in scale armor and now i will give it up to all of you to uh explore the ship please well, I get my charger because my phone is dying. <laughs> so whose turn is it? Hey. So okay. Do what you want. Let's 
So, uh, where, uh, I actually don't know what to do. Hold on. Uh, Me yes, neither. Neither. Neither, neither do I. You are all aboard St. Valentino's ship, sailing off for sea. If you would like to collect any more information about where you are headed or what the crew is like, that is up to you. Jesus I'm going to find the One Piece. Uh, no, I'm Me too. Come, um, come along and bring a, <laughs> bring aboard all your go. hopes and dreams. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. I'm just looking at yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, all right. Have you sent us like a map so what are my stats? No, yeah. yeah. Dude, give I'll us like... All right. Oh, Who yeah, wants okay. to... Lauren, or, or, um, Wait. Nia, roll perception. Is You have the best perception stat. <laughs> okay, let me... Yeah, hold on. Let me just <laughs> find where, where... Dice rolls, correct? Yep. 23. Your roll is a 23. Uh, so Ooh. as you uh, scurry your uh, light self through uh, through the, the decks of the St. Valentino's Anchor, uh, you find yourself uh, overhearing a few conversations, um, mainly just different uh, crewmates talking about the gambling tables underneath the deck, um, a few uh, high-priority passengers, uh, one of which being a uh, noble's uh, daughter who has ran away, and they uh, have heard hearsay that uh, she may be interested in a work life in Adizia. And uh, you hear about the elusive captain um, who lays above deck and her, uh, and her massive tentacle arm that is said to uh, entwine any pirate or brigand that dare board the ship in search of, uh, in search of their own death. So you hear... Uh, you know what? Ask me like whatever you want to know about the ship. I'll give you like two questions. Uh, How many cannons are there? That's a really bad question to ask. <laughs> no, I'm I'm gonna use this sort of information for something. I would. I I think I know where you're going with this. It's At least I know Lauren where I would go with that question. Do it. It's up to Nia as she is the one making the perception check and scurrying about. Okay, my bad. My bad. Not me. Would you guys like me to ask something? Uh, uh go ahead. Guys, How many ask cannons? Me. Do they eat uh, bread with maple syrup? No. That's a pretty in character. Okay. Ask. Um, how long is the voyage? The voyage seems to be about um probably less than a uh than a week. Um, if you were to guess, maybe uh like a sleep and a day, due to the particular way that this shirt uh this ship works. And uh, a few time-altering uh, effects that have been placed over the ship, as to make it a more bearable passage and a little less expensive one for those that um, that sail it. Okay. Do you get one more question? <laughs> um. Anyone have suggestions, Liam? I mean, um... where are we headed? He's already okay. we, we know where we're headed. We're what, oh. headed to a kingdom. No. Uh, oh, okay. You know, uh, I I would say, what's the best way to get more? money on the ship? Because we have no work. Uh, okay. Gambling uh, I, I'm assuming, but like, what specific game is what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you can tell that there's a variety of games that take place underneath the deck. Some of them are of pure luck, um, but some of them, such as dice, cards, and even for some of the more high end or sophisticated uh, sailors, dragon chess. Is actually um, is actually more skillful in in terms of gambling below deck. So if you'd skillful? like to try your luck, skillful. I mean, uh, we aren't dragon. playing three dragon nope. ante. If you're looking for scale, yeah. <laughs> okay. See, I'm already making my dad jokes. De Declan, hey, not even a one dad. might say it's a it's, a, it's, a, it's a blank dragon. It's a what? Uh, fill the blank dragon. No. Uh, okay. What? This is this is no, a, a little inside, inside joke of this point from Liam. last night uh, uh, when I was at his house. Okay, so Liam, uh, yeah, do you want to go ahead? Does Zeal want to slink his way below deck to play some uh, um, try to get up at Lady Lux? Do I know uh, how to play Dragon Chess? How do you play Dragon Chess? Check your proficiencies. I believe your character has a minus some... one in wisdom, but a plus one in intelligence. I know you have a proficiency in 
something. I know uh, one of you has proficiency in a sort of... Uh, um, one of you has I have a plus three in performance. Some sort of gambling. I have, I have plus Would two that be proficiency. Would sleight of hand? Oh, sleight of hand is, uh, tough, is Lauren. I have a plus two I'm in sleight of hand, but say... she's like a plus six. Dude, this thing is so bright. Okay. It's huh. the skill check's gonna differ depending on what game you play. Okay, so Whoa. for um dragon chess. Dragon chess would be a game of mostly wisdom. I'd so have to I say. shouldn't play that. Instead, we're gonna go to a game I can cheat at. Ooh. Um, okay. with, with slide of hand. With performance of slide of hand. Thrown off the deck. Uh, off the deck first day. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't have. I mean, he has ropes to ship. You know. Tie it on to the right. Pulled. right. What what things do I have? I'm gonna I'm in, I'm I'm not gonna cheat just yet. I'm gonna start playing and start playing normally, and then in a few days start cheating. That's my plan. I don't know about any of you, but I want them to trust be me. On the boat for that many days. Yeah, you uh, don't want to get thrown off the ship on the first that day. With what you you do here is that the 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 ship ride will basically be like one sleep, and then yeah. uh by what feels like a morning after. Uh, it will. Uh, it will uh, be concluded. What sorcery is this? Uh, you don't know. We uh, be time traveling. Yeah, there, it's be... some sort of chronomancy that's time been inflicted on the ship. Why is this uh, one hair want to make me look like a psychopath? <laughs> this one hair. Oh yeah. That just I keep pushing it up and it keeps falling back down. Did it stay? Did it stay finally? All right, we're good. Um, yeah. Um, what dice do I have to roll to um just just play? I just want to play a game. Just, just gamble some dice. Uh, I'm gonna play some dice. Play no, we're playing play dice. dice. We're playing dice. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you join a dice table. Um. By the way, would anyone else like to join in on the dice game? I'm not very smart. What dice is pure you? luck. Yeah. Dice is you roll the dice. I should probably mention that you have a proficiency in uh dice, Trey. I believe it's dice. That was Let cards. me check again. Let me take a look, actually. Um, I believe Eleanor. Yeah, it's dice. Ele Eleanor has a uh, proficiency in dice Come games. Come join me on the floor. Okay, then. Okay, I'm Eleanor. Snoop, but never mind. <laughs> Eleanor uh, tucks away her holy manuscript manuscript into her cloak and decides to uh decides to um grace the dice table with her presence. Um, so you. Uh, you both make eye contact and get ready to begin the game. How much? Uh, how much money are you guys going? I to get? have um an extra ten. Go I have twenty gold in total. So uh, we're gonna start with one gold. Cause I'm pretty You're sure one gold's one quite gold. a bit. Yeah, one gold. Eleanor, how much money are you going to uh to bed? Are it's you going to match money it? first day? Isn't that how gambling? Don't you sort of have to match it? Yeah. Yeah. Start off easy. Okay, so you are going to start off. One second, let me check how much money you have. Uh, you have enough. Uh, so you each um, put in one gold to start. Um, roll me a. Roll me a just pure regular check. Um, uh, just a d twenty. And Eleanor, you get to roll twice and take the better option. I wanna. Isn't dice just you roll actual? Why won't we just play the actual game of dice? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Just roll once. Eleanor gets to roll twice. All right. I got a 19 though, beat, so right? um. You got a 19, so it's gonna be hard to beat. Um. <laughs> Give just me some 20s. money. Right. Yeah. Wait, Deck, Deck, I want to point out how many other people are playing because it's not just me and Eleanor that are playing. Right now, they also throw All right, I'm gonna make some money, and I'm just gonna be. Okay, so the poor sailor loses a gold. It's one gold that's probably going to me. Eleanor, just roll twice. Twice. Eighteen, and then roll a second time. Wow. First roll. That was close. Not gonna be. It's not going to beat me. Yeah. Roll second time. Whichever one's better, you keep. Only All right. Only beat that. That's yeah. Uh, that was a 5% chance to beat it, 10% to match it. It's yeah, understandable. It's... Okay. All right. So through 
Eleanor, though your uh, graceful high elven hands are uh, fit to perfectly roll a dice, it would appear that Zeal's raw luck has outmatched you this once, and you are down a gold. You are down to 24 gold. And One I'm moment. up till 22. Okay, let's remove a gold. I've added my two already, so just reload your thing and it should show up. So you have three, uh, Zeal. You have an extra three. You, you know, I'm at. How do I get three? I fought against oh, two people, two. so I go up two. You would have gotten one from the sale. Yeah, one. yeah. So I, I gained two, not three. You I know what I? Mean. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. Where's my ten? Sil where's my six silver? Where's your <laughs> six silver? Go to equipment. You already lost your money. Go to equipment. No. Go to currency. I couldn't. I couldn't add it. I couldn't add it. That's why. Uh. Okay. Uh, would you guys want to go for a second round of gambling? Um, sure. This time I, I I go for two gold pieces. This time we're upping the ante with two gold. Uh, Eleanor, do you want to keep going? Not. Okay, two gold. I got a fifteen. Yeah. It's still pretty good. Let's go. The but sailors add another two gold. Let's go for another dice roll, everyone. I mean, if I lose, I didn't and technically lose. I just was even the whole this time. This is the part where we throw in some sea shanties and some nice. There uh, are one solution. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't go, don't go. Get, get a low, get a low, get a low roll. So it's just me and the sailor oh, yeah. right now, right? Uh, it is the the sailor. Is it my turn? Or... Yep. Roll, roll twice. Oh, please don't get Ooh. better than that. Please don't get better than that. <laughs> Fingers 17? crossed. Oh, 19. wow! The sailor's sweet. The sailor just got nineteen. All right. Kind of lose my two gold. Beat, or only a natural twenty could beat this. Uh, I just I I obviously lost. That's oh, not, oh. Not gonna okay, I'm back down to twenty. Cut. I'm gonna cut my losses of nothing, <laughs> and go. And like that, Eleanor is out of another two gold. Wait, uh, can I sleight of hand and just not lose the money? Um, you can attempt to if to you, make it, but disadvantage uh, as they are currently like counting their money. Uh, from like he just steals it right now. You just take it. it. Okay, you can attempt to do it. No, I mean like make it look like I give them two, but like I don't. You can just say it. So you're faking. Yeah, that's going to be a DC fifteen. I'm gonna say. DC. Oh, so I have to get above fifteen. Above fifteen, and you can successfully fake them out with your money. Twenty plus two, because that's my proficiency with sleight of hand. 20, oh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. That is going to cut it. Uh, you no way. Fake them out, and as you, like, give them the two gold, you, like, secretly, like, slip two gold from them, uh, and you uh, take back your money with zero losses as you completely dupe this uh, this unsuspecting sailor. All right, good game, Dan. And good they game. go back good to game. playing with, uh, with some other... Uh, sailors. Uh, if only now, it was this easy in the bank. Watch her. We're gonna really bad rolls when it comes to fighting stuff. Yeah. Zen, what are you and Mia up to uh, now that you are a de facto party uh, through means only of hmm. being trapped on the ship together and being outlaws uh, for the same reason? Well, being that I don't There's... have any money, uh, you know, can't really do anything there. Are you guys going to? I mean, you could always money? borrow money and go into debt. Borrowing money is not the best option for gambling. That is how no, you I'm not do that. Up. That was the point. Oh. Never okay. bet that you can't pay. Oh wait, my hit leave. points should go back to normal, right? No, you haven't uh, had a rest yet. You guys have still just, uh, just barely escaped. Uh, the the skeletons are and are already back to your normal hijinks. If you would like to uh, take a rest immediately, that would be fine. Um, no, I'm going to stick around for a bit. As you watch the sky above move, the sun is moving conspicuously fast. As, Hold on uh, a minute. The sky around you is no most day. not what it seems. Is that a stand? <laughs> uh, no JoJo references to be had here yet. What? <laughs> Not oh. yet. The sun is not a stand in this world. Uh, if you want to make a stand, though, for anyone new to D and D, I would suggest either using a cleric and getting the uh, the guardian of faith spell, uh, 
being the um oh, my headphones way of the astral <laughs> self monk or uh being a barbarian of uh i believe it was uh ancestry uh who can summon their ancestors to fight for them ancestry.com uh, astral guardian uh -huh. so if you want to make a stand Damn. in c that would be my recommendation next adventure i'm making a stand next adventure if if your character ever dies we're gonna have a stand user everyone uh right. so yes i'm making him die quick <laughs> or you could just multi-class uh commit suicide or you could just get get your character <clears throat> to... anyway yeah. that's besides you, you realize um, you can so, pick new yeah. things as you level up so you could just get on your next level the the user that would get a stand so any nice. user okay what is Nia and Zen up to uh, as Zen oh. is nursing his broken back uh, or sprained back and Nia is scurrying around scouting out the ship? Hmm. You know... I'm going to go look for the nobleman's daughter. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, I'm going to say that you witnessed the events of the... Uh, I'm going to say you witnessed the events of the dice game as Zeal uh, stole his money back. Um, and That wasn't even mine uh, to begin with. One of it was Eleanor's, no. one of it was the sailor's. Yeah, yeah and you uh, see um, this uh, cloaked, pier uh, piercing-eared uh, woman uh, with the symbol of a moon impaled by a sword on her cloak uh, as she... Um, trots herself back to uh, her bench in the below ground of the ship uh, in with mild uh, unamusement, but you can tell this person is one of much wealth, and that two gold in the grand scheme of things, or three gold, probably doesn't mean much. Um, so you can totally approach Eleanor if you want. Okay, let's do that. Ooh, some player roleplay. <laughs> Fight, fight, uh, fight, fight, fight. No, I'll not do that. Eleanor, uh, you notice as a uh, as a pale moon elf woman approaches you um, with uncertain intent. Would any of you like to introduce yourselves first? I will say hi. Um, I'm traveling with some people. Would you like to join us? Uh, except you aren't. We actually haven't technically met, Nia. Yeah. yeah. Have we? No, we were just all no. ran at the same time. You did. Oh, yeah. okay. Wordlessly. It's kind of like one of those things where it's Coincidence, like a word. I guess. Uh, okay, then I, I will just go over fate. and talk to her because why not? Okay. Uh, you don't have to preface everything by saying I say. You can just approach and just in say. character have a chat. Okay, so, I, oh, so how are you? Like, why are you on this ship? Just, just traveling, I guess. Uh, Where are you? Nia, uh, or I mean Eleanor, make a deception check as you are saying this. Should, should Nia also make a countering perception check? Yeah, Nia, make a perception check. And Eleanor, make a deception check. So using your modifiers of perception, deception. 13. Okay. I'm going to say that's uh, not so substantial of a difference, uh, that it's that it's too much. You can tell that there's more to Eleanor's travels than just traveling, and that uh, you see her kind of grip her mm -hmm. See her grip her holy manuscript mm. as she says, just traveling. Um, yeah, so uh, if, if you guys want to continue the conversation. Mm. Talk to, I wanted to talk to Zen. Hey! I have an actual conversation to have with, with the Zen. <laughs> I'm kind of worried here. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, so, so tentacle. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna so, go back to, to where Zen was because he's sitting down as you said, and I'm gonna be like, find Zen nursing his broken back as yeah, I said. Yeah, and be like, uh, hey, just... I like your Ooh. style. What's your name, chap? Me nursing my back is really amusing. No, I mean the fight we had earlier. Oh, hi, hi. What's your name? I am Zen, and yours is. 
Call me Zeal. Full name is Rog Zeal. Would you like to join my party? Oh. Why not, you seal? <laughs> Let us go. Zeal, but all right. So, yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll join up once we get off this boat. Same should, thing. Let us go. We should probably look around for more party members, but yeah, glad to have you working with me. You me guys too. start to Let's scan the ship. You guys start Ooh. to scan the ship for any interesting members that might make a good addition to a party, or at least acquaintances that would probably aid you in the future uh, in your specific line of work. I find a rat. <laughs> Roll perception to see if you can find a rat. <laughs> okay, yeah, why not? Roll perception okay. for a rat, totally. <laughs> Yo, why not? Okay, so what a... Party mascot, let's go. <laughs> Roll d20 what, and that's it? Just, Just d20? You know what? Plus your perception modifier. That is seven. Um, okay, you try searching the ship for a rat, um, and as uh-huh. you're like behind a barrel you find like a goblin like chewing on a on like a, a multi <laughs> piece of bread and like as you stick your hand back to try and like grab for a rat it like bites your finger and now you have like tiny little like jagged fingerprints in your in your oh, finger that is most certainly not a rat it is way too big for that but also definitely not, not big enough for a human and you find a small uh goblin chewing on a piece of bread back there Oh, I'm gonna join him. Should should he take one damage? Should, maybe. Um, make a pers make a persuasion check <laughs> to okay, sit inside him, just so that he doesn't immediately try to gnaw on your face. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have persuasion. I don't, sadly. Four. No, that's a four. As you like, try to like no talking figure behind the barrels. You, like, Dude, get I'm stuck. A, I'm gonna have an and STD the, because of that. And the, the, the goblin begins to start chewing on your arm. Take tetanus. Like, uh, Go get a tetanus shot. Take, you get yeah. tetanus, sure. Um, what? No. You Why? Take, <laughs> yeah, you take like uh, six oh. damage from this goblin just chewing on your arm. Make a strength. Dude, I got... To try and, like, I want to point out, you rolled a 1d6 and got a natural six. Or I guess just deck the goblin, whatever you choose. <laughs> Strength, right? Uh, yeah. Damn it! Gosh. Make okay. a constitution saving throw against tetanus. Oh <laughs> I guess rabies in this situation. No. That is not great. Oh, right now. <laughs> that's a four. Uh, D twenty plus <laughs> one got a four. <laughs> No, not on my like this tiny green creature. Uh, tries to like pull himself from out from under the barrels as he like flexes his muscles with strength to try and get out. It just makes him bigger, so he's even harder to get out from under there. <laughs> and to make a hell? constitution saving throw, please. Okay, oh. I got okay. Dude, I'm starting. Why to are you doing this to me? Him. I'm starting to regret having. Yeah, him. I'm starting to regret talking back. <laughs> Uh, Zeal sees this 100%. Would we hear this? Because and, like, five crew members are just like completely halting as this happens. Would um, we hear this from under the that deck? That is a dirty 20. I hear this? this is a dirty 20. Uh, Let's go. So after all of that, That's all funny. of the oh misfortune, uh, the one strength he has as he's like, as like this goblin is frothing at the mouth. Uh, it like bites into him, and like his muscly immune system of like jacked yeah. white blood cells is just beating the crap out of all of this goblin goblin rabies cells, and his um, you are one hundred percent unfazed goblin by the no, 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 no. yeah you're oh, yeah. it's like that one episode of JoJo where uh, they send the stands inside of Mister Joestar. Anyways, oh, yeah. that's, that's the point. Uh, your that's gonna be cringy to me right out. afterwards. Yeah, the crap almost definitely. We're all gonna cringe this, this. Goblin rabies cells and protecting your body from any possible disease coming from this mold chewing, like rabies mold chewing goblin. Mold. I'm sorry. Goblin. Did I hear that right? <laughs> mold. Ooh. Mold. So, oh, okay. So okay, would okay. me and Eleanor hear this from under? Like, would we hear, hear something? We would hear everything. You can hear the pacing of footsteps from above deck as they all start to congregate in one area, and you hear like thumping above deck, 
Uh, you don't know where, but it sounds like someone's like thumping against the wooden planks of the deck as they try to get loose from something. <laughs> so you think there's some sort of confrontation going on? I mean, well, I'm just standing back, like <laughs> yeah, 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 just watching. You're just, just watching all of this. I'm gonna I'm just head on up going and like, uh, oh, I just I'm check it out. Too. <laughs> yeah, 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 it does. It. D20. Sweet. Um. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, eight. So okay, I'm gonna head uh, on up and check that out. Okay. Do you take Eleanor along with you? Do you like grab her hand and take I, her along? I gesture. I'm like, do you want to come? And then I walk. So. But what, what reason do do? does Eleanor, do Eleanor have to come? You guys had a really bad conversation. You guys were like, I yeah. Hey, I didn't want to grab why are you hand. here? Tra traveling. Oh, I Eleanor, for a second, okay. then I follow. Having a goblin okay. bite my forearm is an icebreaker. Eleanor follows Mia as they make their way above deck. And I'm just, I'm not going to make you roll. You immediately spot this hulking man who you had previously seen uh, skewer a skeleton like a shish kebab and fling like a javelin. And he is now, he is now having his, like, hand not on by like this gangrenous goblin as it's like trying to eat him from behind the barrels and he is trying to pull himself out from behind am, am, uh, I, allowed, am, am I allowed to use a piercing arrow to shoot specifically the goblin and nothing else dude he's gonna shoot my arm yeah yeah I say that's possible no no no, uh, no, no, no you won't get hit no um, cause piercing arrows can go through hit. piercing arrows can go through things right so I can make it so just yeah roll the okay. hit the goblin all right, so that's a plus. That's a d twenty plus six, right? Yep. Wait, can I ask a question? Why plus six? Because that's my hit uh, that's DC. His, it, uh, it's a hit modifier. modifier. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, that's a seventeen. That's enough to break its AC. I hope so. Um, that's one d eight plus two. All right. Uh... As you like, pull back like uh your arrow. It turns ethereal. And you loose the arrow, and it, and like whistling through the wind, it pierces through the uh, barrel, leaving no marks in the barrel, and it skewers the goblin. And that did seven damage, which is just enough to like skewer the goblin in the chest as it like shrieks and it looses its teeth from your hand, and it nice. collapses, bleeding oh. on the ground. Um, it is now making death saves. Uh, if you would like to uh, do anything to either help the goblin or uh, stabilize it or just straight up kill it, that is I'm just going to quickly now. put away my bow. I'm just, no one saw that. Just, just Roll sleight of hand to see if anyone saw you pull out a bow and shoot a goblin that everyone is currently <laughs> Everyone's going to notice that. Well, that no. no, everyone's looking at the goblin though, not me. So wouldn't I have advantage? When yeah, you see an arrow come flying, I mean, I got a seventeen. So maybe, but you're like the only guy with a bow, uh, and you are. It, they can see where it came from. So I'm not gonna make you roll roll with disadvantage. Just roll. Uh, I, I already did, and I got a seventeen. Seventeen. That's gonna be enough. Screw it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you managed to stealthily put away your, your long bow, oh, over, sling it over your shoulder, and slip into the crowd. As people start looking around to where the shot might have come. Well, from. I mean, I physically shot through people, so it wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> like the arrow went through some people. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you, uh, uh, Zen, take your arm away from the tiny little monster that was gnawing on your arm. In my uh, defense, he was spooky. Oh, not gonna lie. If you want, you can look for um, you can look for someone to help you. You're now at twenty health. Um, yeah, after that. I know. only twenty. Wow. Well, he he has twenty nine, but he's still weakened. Hmm. I have nineteen. Okay. I have twenty one. Put it into perspective. I have twenty five in total, but I'm at twenty one still. You notice that the sun starts to to go down, at least in this sort of weird time zone. If you would like in to Japan. sleep now. Fine. Uh, Do I there's feel like if you sleep, you heal? Uh, yeah. yeah. If you take uh, choose to take a long rest, then yes, you do heal. By you how much? All of your uh, all of your health. If you take a long oh, okay, rest. okay, okay, then yeah, I'm taking a sweet baby nap. I don't know if I said that. Uh, right. I'm just yeah. Resting. So the 
You can either take a long rest or a short rest. Long rest is the advisable one since you're going to be sleeping for the night. Um, yeah. You can just rest up right away, and the the following morning uh, you'll be all stuck in span. There's a collection of rooms for passengers. Uh, you can probably make your way to some of the more uh, some of the unused rooms as you are technically stowaways. Can I can I oh. sneak into the cruise room and sleep there with the crew? That sounds like a bad idea. Go for it. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I'm just saying, am I allowed to try? Personally, I would do that, too. Go for it. Personally, I would do that, too. Right. How full is it? Can I change it to a dog and then find a smaller area that like that? Oh, yeah, you can turn into a dog, definitely. I got a 12 for, for um, stealth. That's not going to... Let me roll a oh, perception no. check on their hand to see if this dude who they don't know is is, like... Well, it could, be, it could be a drunk. really big crew, so, and yeah, they could be drunk. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Let him sleep. He's <laughs> <laughs> a no. foreigner. So wasted and partied out from gambling underneath the deck and just like a long day's work that like as the shift, uh, as the shifts of the night and the, the, the day shift switches out, they're like, eh, whatever. I I guess he's just one of the new guys that the captain hired for uh, for like uh until we get to a disney yeah. they they let you uh sleep there they don't really me- remember faces too well i'm gonna um, wake up and i'm gonna be like surrounded by people with blades it's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you what you, you go to sleep some dude's bed <laughs> yeah. um some, dude's some dude if you guys would all like to make your uh way to any of the individual rooms that are not taken yet uh i'm gonna say you're gonna have to roll um roll investigation so that you don't walk into a room that's already taken by someone and then get fucking annihilated. Mm. Well, I mean, where <laughs> Zen's involved, I think he would annihilate the other person. You uh, notice, I like... Just, yeah, that's I fair. Just, uh, you notice, like, a few higher class... Uh, I'm gonna say that, Eleanor, you're probably the only person who actually ha- has a room, because you're the only person that actually paid for your ticket on this boat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I'm... It, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna say Eleanor and Nia, you see what transpires with the goblin. I guess you guys just left it to, to bleed out. Oh, man. Um, if you, if you would eh. like to, if you would like to make your way to the room, mm. uh, Eleanor and Nia, you are nearby. Um, mm. you guys can arrange, uh, where you're gonna sleep. I'm just gonna quickly make a kill count chat. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> a kill yeah. count. And that would so, probably be, that would probably be right, so so we, we will now at one. the end of I'm the at episode one. post kill count for everything they have killed in uh uh in the campaign in total. Well, we can because we can always edit. Be really low. We can all edit the same message, like so we just. Doesn't have to be things that you killed or just things that die in general. Well, yeah. for me, I'm doing I mean, what I killed right now. I'm at I, one kill count. I think some count. people in the group wanna keep it as a competition if you kill. Oh, I definitely one. wanna keep it as a competition. <laughs> As I okay. said, oh, oh, this isn't this isn't counting as the other this is we aren't counting the, the bar fight. Because oh, okay. otherwise I'd have like three. Um Well, I mean they were already dead, so does it really count? Yes it does, but still. Um <laughs> The undead can be half <laughs> <It's still. laughs> like, defeated it, yeah, it counts as a kill. Um yeah, go for it. Uh we now have a kill count that we will be posting at the end of each of the sessions. Let's um, go. Yeah. I got zero. Zenza's I'm probably going uh, against the least. Okay, uh, Nia and uh, and uh, Eleanor, would you like to? Uh, Nia, do you want to take the form of a dog and sleep uh, in Eleanor's room as not to a... arouse suspicion? Two. Sure, Two. let's do that. I turn into a big white fluffy dog. <laughs> Eleanor, you witness. Uh, you start to realize. Oh, okay. This person's a druid. Uh, you have made friends with a druid. Um, because obviously there aren't everyone. I, I she's hate still a stranger. Fantasy. I hate in fantasy where there are concepts where it's like, oh my god, you turn into a dog. That's so weird because you live in like a magical world where like, yeah, you know this is a thing. This is an uncommon. This happens all the time. Uh, so yeah. Um, so yeah, you see her turn into a dog. Oh yeah, I guess she's a druid. Um, or maybe I go behind somewhere. You know, just quickly. You know, okay. uh, roll stealth. High. I guess. Stealth, well, stealth with advantage because you're going for cover. Yeah, so that'll be stealth would be in dexterity, so that's plus seven. Oh, okay. 
Roll twice plus seven. Oh goodness. Oh, that was a really bad. That one. was a nat one. one with a plus seven. Advantage. That could have been real oh, bad. Oh, okay. Hold on. I didn't do that right again. Oh, that could have been horribly D. wrong. Uh, yeesh. Could have been horribly. Seventeen. 17 no, Thank no. the Lord. Uh, you take cover and you turn into a dog. No one seems to notice. Um, what? They're all still distracted with them, you know. I mean, to be fair, uh, I shot a goblin horrible. without being noticed. So, is it really that hard to believe that she could go Wait, into a corridor and transform? you arrow, so... I know. I right. pulled out a bow, shot a goblin, and put it away without being noticed. So, and I was the victim. Uh, Zen, uh, where are you going to sleep? I sleep in bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I feel like Zen just wouldn't care. He'd just go, "This is my bed now." <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Yeah, you, you would intimidate the ground into being comfy enough for him to sleep on. Um, but in I mean, all like, seriousness, no, I mean, like he's the kind of person to just walk into someone else's room, sleep in the bed, and they're just like, "Hey, this is my bed." It's like, no, it's not. It's my bed now. No, it's that's not. that's <laughs> the kind of character Zen is. Either they deal with it and sleep with me, or they leave. Boogeyman. He is Zen is essentially this world's version of the boogeyman. Boogeyman. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so I just intimidation. Uh, <laughs> if you want to go into someone's room, if you want to roll investigation first to find an empty room, or do you want to just burst down a door and and, oh. and intimidate someone who's taking the room? You can totally uh, do that. I'm gonna go investigation. I'm gonna be smart about this, y'all. Uh, Zen Zen tries to avoid confrontation. 14. In the the DC was fifteen, as most of the room there was like a fifth of the rooms that were not taken so far. So Zen, as you look around, uh, you the first door you open has a uh, it has a lovely uh, uh, young couple, uh, a young a lovely young dwarvish couple. Uh, hey, uh, dwarves are pretty small. You should be like, get the fuck out of the. the... <laughs> Sorry, get the dwarves flip out. People, though, to be fair. But they're Yo, tiny. They're this is a years. this is a giant of a man by normal Dude, standards. Okay. Three. <laughs> yeah, Zed is like massive. These guys are like three and a half feet tall. They're like exactly. the size of my shin, bro. <laughs> He's the size of both so if, of them combined, if not bigger. If so not, if you wanna, four of them. Roll intimidation. Intimidation. All right. Gotcha. It is a. Uh, oh, no. That's a four. Um, you notice as dwarves. He's a veteran. These dwarves are not screwing around, Do and you notice like that the light plus... pull, like reaches from no, besides the bed and pulls up like a massive war hammer and and like leaps up to her feet and jumps from the bed trying to smash you over the head with the war Dude, hammer. I just want to sleep. Like, don't don't mess bed. with. Mm. Do you just you just use, use, use you do an arm, arm, unarmed strength and just hope you can like break the axe with your fist. It's D, not S. <laughs> okay, hold on. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Or should I just shish kebab That's a 17. I'm pretty sure that beats your AC. Um, yeah. This is AC. Yeah, that beats your AC. So they just smack you around yeah, with a war hammer. Oh. oh, my. Dude. Oof. That's why you don't bust down a door. Especially when they're doing something. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That didn't need to be implied. Okay, <laughs> as she, like, leaps, though, uh, like, she seems to, like, not have enough of the way, so it just kind of, like, as she gets there, she just, like, kind of dinks your toe, and it's like, ow! Oh. And you are not having the greatest day. <laughs> um, no, really I am not. Person, as this tiny person jumps up with a war hammer and slams it down <laughs> on your pinky toe. <laughs> oh. Wait, so Declan. two more damage. Declan. Is there any spells like that you see through walls that I could get in the future? What? We can talk about that later. All right. Um. So, uh, what are you gonna do then? I am going to use firebolt and it's like burn. You're gonna blow up the ship. Hell yeah! Going to assault... I no, 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 I take no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, unarmed strike. There. Okay, that. There makes we go. Uh, that's plus your strength modifier. Uh, you can also use non-lethal damage. I should mention. Uh, with oh. weapons, um, I meaning you won't kill no, them on unarmed purpose. <laughs> yeah. Will I? Okay. So, how come unarmed Eleanor has the is... highest base strength out of all of us? 
What's what would the plus tank? three to hit? I know, yeah, but your base three. strength is 12. All, all of our base is 12, and then Eleanor's th sitting there with 13. I give her a concussion. 21. Let's go. 21? Is that a nat? Oh, no, it's 18. Uh, so, yeah, that... Zen, and Zen, then... you're sitting down with me with the lowest AC. We both have 13, and they both have 16. And I'm just going to say, okay, oh. you deck them. Done. And the, the, and the husband, like, pulls the covers up to, like, defend himself. Uh, um, as oh, the wife my. continues to hammer away at you with a war hammer. Um, so that's going to be uh, next roll. Uh, you guys, can so, you so roll perception to see if you hear the commotion? Uh, please do. I need help. I no, I'm, I'm, I'm asleep because already. Here, I we're am gonna already help. asleep. Aw. She wildly swings and completely whiffs. <laughs> oh, thank God. You're in like a pretty small room. It's like 30 by 30 feet. Yeah. Oh my. I want to point out, Zen could pick them up and throw them off the boat. I got yeah. a six. Yeah, but he's six. chaotic good. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So <laughs> I think not good. I think that's not very good. Can I try to reason with them? Yes. Roll diplomacy, which is okay. just like I wish you luck. 16. I try to 16. say sorry. Okay. Um I'm going to say that uh a, they're like what the fuck are you doing in our goddamn bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry. You're you're very so speak up. Say it louder. Say it like I'm you mean. I'm very sorry. Thank you. Gosh, get out of here. You're I'm you're very sorry. Like, Thank you. you. you as this, like, <laughs> this older dwarven woman with like graying hair. It's like she's a, she, she has like these the, the circular monocle like spectacles. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. From, like, so, old woman. There was there was already two people. Another one just pops out or is it the same woman that tried it's to attack me? It's the woman. The okay, woman not a... old grandma. <laughs> Okay, I thought the old grandma came out of the closet and just started no, bashing. No. And yeah, me. A, an old woman just emerges from the closet. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Say sorry. You... <laughs> I have to bleep that. Yeah. Now tell me, Lottie, what are you doing breaking into other people's bedrooms? Um, this is the Say first you're one. drunk. Say uh, you're drunk. I'm sleepy. Hey, you had too much. Just, just fall asleep on the floor. Can you just fall asleep oh, on the floor? Like yeah, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Why do you look like bloody hell? What happened to you? Why you got um, bite marks all over you? Why you, you, you're all squiggly and squabbly. You look like you broke your damn spine. Why? I wonder why he wasn't very intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Oh what happened I'm to six you? three, bro. Come on. Hells. Mm. Uh, rough night. Can I sleep? <laughs> Rough few days, but... I'll tell you what, man. If you promise not to go about uh, breaking into other people's bedrooms, I I'll save them the trouble. Y you can stay here. Just don't don't go about causing any trouble, all right? Mm. Gotcha. So what do I do now? Religion? <laughs> uh, I guess just, yeah. like, choose uh... where... There's, like, a, a, a... There's the closet I mentioned earlier, if you'd like. <laughs> you can no. be the monster. This in this in this poor uh young uh old oh, lady's in, life yeah, not young uh, yeah, like, monster in the closet that's for dwarves if they're elderly this this, this like five hundred years young uh people they're old for even your standards they're even older yeah. than you. <laughs> can't use them at all six hundred years reasons. old <laughs> yeah okay, so I you could probably fall, do you want to fall asleep in their in their closet. Hell yeah. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to say okay. thank you and then go to sleep. Why guys, in their closet? The night away. No, not, no, no, no. I'm just going to sleep on the floor, not in their closet. You dream the night away and your aching backs and and uh, and stab wounds and bite marks and stubbed toes and uh, and slashes and punches and bruises all heal up uh, as, cool. you, as you dream the night away and you find yourselves awake the next day. Um, Nice. Immediately, Zen, you hear oh, no. uh, you hear a commotion coming on from outside of the closet. Oh no! Oh no! They're fighting. Not my parents. <laughs> no, your your new foster parents. The uh, no. my new parents. Actually, you can actually even ask their names. Zen, oh really? Zen, you Zen, even ma know Zen make sure you heal. <laughs> Zen, Zen, make sure you heal. What do you mean? I can't change anything. He is healed. All yeah. All of you, uh, bring your. 
Bring Wait, yeah. Why why cool. can't we change any of Zen stuff? I can't change any of his stuff, even though I'm logged in. I can change I my can't stuff. Change Just put it on a real sheet of paper, then use a magical thing called the whiteboard marker. I lose my pencils. Zeal's back to full. Okay. The whiteboard so marker. um yeah. Uh, you guys go about Death, your Death day. and I was already uh, at full. You should have hit refresh for me. I've been taking care of mine. Oh. Okay, so, Zen, you, uh, you awaken. Uh, it's yes. the sound of commotion coming from outside of the closet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, do What's you go going up on? to explore? Or do you just, like, listen in for now? Um, at first, I think I'm gonna listen. Uh, okay, Easter roll... Hoping? Roll... Insight. Investigation. Insight. Insight? Okay, so that's just zero. <laughs> yeah, so okay. just roll. Nice. Feels so bad. 19. That let's is go. a uh you hear from beyond the muffling of clothes, and uh as you peek through uh the the shutters of the, the closet, you see uh as um her name's Amelia, by the way, the elderly old oh. woman. Uh you see Amelia get out of bed, uh and uh like brush the sleep out of her eyes um and her husband wakes up and goes with her to the door um as they open it and in marches in without any uh, announcement uh the captain and uh a alongside besides her uh you find a uh you find a rather large eric cocker man who is a huge basically eric cockers are huge bird people um oh. with like wings and stuff uh, and he looks like like a parrot that's been like covered in soot. Um, oh no! And you see the captain walk in with her hands and well, hand behind her back and tentacle behind her back. Uh, she is somehow shorter than uh, the young uh, or young for uh, like Their eighty hundred years young. Um, the the dwarven. Eighty hundred. Uh, you mean eight? You know it's what like I mean. Five hundred. I heard eighty so hundred. Yeah. I was like, it is, they yeah, are me too. Like probably around five hundred years old. Uh, so basically, uh, they are like they look eighty by human standards. Um, so you see the five hundred year old couple uh, as as the the Eric uh sailor and the captain walk in, uh, checking around the place. Uh, hmm. and you she has her arms behind her. Uh, the captain is a um is a goblin. However, she has gills and, like, fins growing out of her, her one arm and feet. Um, okay. And she has, like, a, a, an octopus-like tentacle growing out of one hand. And at her side is a cutlass uh, that seems clean and pristine to the point where you feel as though she would never have to use it. Uh, because most of her enemies die through either the work of her subordinates or something else. Um so oh, no. you feel uh, as she marches in and uh and she begins to question the 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 lovely old couple that let you stay there after you so rudely uh, broken entered um she begins to question them about any um stowaways that they might have found um mm. and as she continues to prod uh the 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 couple refuse to tell her anything hey, can, about can I, can I wake up and get out and go back on deck real quick. Okay, so you're all awake now. I'm gonna say. Can you're I can awake. I go on deck real quick before she gets to the crew cabin? Can I have already <laughs> been on deck because I only need four hours of sleep. Yeah. So. Uh, Zen. Uh, also, yeah. you can roll. Uh, can you roll stealth? Let me get my phone charger out. My stealth? phone okay. decides to not like battery. Anymore. Where is so, stealth? Stealth. You oh, plus, plus one. one. I'm Great. Still in my room. <laughs> Okay, twelve. Huh. Who would have thought? Uh, I think I had a charge that. To sweep the room, uh, she flings open the. Uh, she flings open the, uh, the 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 closet and finds you crouched there, uh, pressed against it. What do <clears throat> we have here? Me. A story. Me. Tell me, sir. Where is your ticket? It's in my back pocket. Show me now. It's just fireballs. Whip pit. out my <laughs> yeah. Fireballs. Is Hell yeah. <laughs> please do that, please, for the com comedy. 
I use <laughs> Firebolt. Co- okay, so you reach back uh, and shoot it out. As you do this, she abruptly snaps her fingers and casts what the counter hell? spell. Oh! And, uh, and the Firebolt disappears. <laughs> Oh, okay. It doesn't hit me. Let's That's good. I do not stuff. take too kindly to Stove's assaulting me on my vessel. No, he was oh, casting was fireball on his pants. Yeah, no. no he <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> was, to burn up the ticket. <laughs> he That's did. my excuse. You said you were going to throw the fireball at him. Or at her. Uh, so, um, you, the, the captain... Uh, gestures for the Eric Hawker to, to come over here, and he like picks you up by the scruff of, of your neck, uh, or at least he attempts to. But you're the same size as him, so he basically just pulls just... you to, to your feet. <laughs> nice, I'm picked up. My back is ready to go. His back just pay resets. Your five, or you can walk the plank. Uh, and mm. as as she says this, uh, she um, uh, gestures room as this to is happening? Uh, the the uh the dwarven couple to come over here with her hand uh and she asks them what the hell they they think they're doing lying to them you feel a tinge of guilt as you as this young god why do i keep saying young as this elderly dwarven (laughs) they're the farthest thing from young possible they're like 500 (laughs) even in appearance state they are like 80 it they are not young um so the uh the dwarven couple uh uh you you can uh see as uh Amelia the again the older woman uh is uh standing her ground stubborn uh to, who is again she's like 3 foot 5 and she's looking down at the captain who's like 3 feet um can I So if you want to, as this is happening uh, Yeah, if you want to like pay your fine or try and fight your way out of this, it's up to you. Hmm. I want to pay in a way where I don't waste my money. The uh, she tells That's you the exact definition. The Aaron Hawker, um, he has uh like a, t- a like a roll of tickets on his on his belt, and he's like one ticket, fifteen gold. <laughs> he doesn't have that much money. I don't have. I only have ten. I'm missing five. I am bankrupt. Yeah. So if you want to try and bargain your way out of this. Hmm. Jigger screwed. <laughs> yeah, I really am. How come Lauren has hmm. no money? Just, just... Uh, that's pretty simple. Have... That's because Lauren is a uh is a druid, and they don't get money because they don't have uses for money. Their nature. Uh, when I when I transferred everything onto my paper, I did sell one thing worth one silver. So I have one silver. That's still nowhere near enough for a boat ticket. <laughs> That's why so I'm gonna say a dog. You're you're a dog. The I am the only stowaway where, if caught, I could pay my fine. So yeah, if you want to uh, try and get your way out of this. Yeah, I'm gonna use my. Hmm. Maybe I'll. Um. Can I be walking past the room as this is <laughs> happening? Sure, you can get up and. Uh... Lauren, do you want to get up and accompany her? Sure, I will be her loyal companion. <laughs> okay, You're just I know following me. <laughs> I would have used Thunderclap uh, if I was him, but... Oh, wait, no, she has Counterspell. Never mind. Yeah. I am going to use Firebolt and get my way out of there. Like, burn a hole below me, and then just go that would down be, there. That'd be, oh, like control, that'd be like Control Flame the candles. Oh, Control Flame. Oh, <laughs> You, you can make the the lanterns yeah. go crazy. Can I cast spells while in dog form? Walker, I should mention he is grabbing onto you. You would not fall. Oh, yeah. Can I does. cast he's, he's spells while well in dog form? Can you what? All right, cast, cast spells while well in dog form. No. Okay, that makes sense. Oh god, damn it. Um, fine. Then I use thunderclap, such as suggested. A, a, if you want to, considering what happened last time, I said don't yeah. because she is counter spell. I know, but I want to test my. You know what? No, I'm just gonna make a deal. Okay. If, uh, I'll work for her. Here? I'll work for the captain. We could always use a bit of extra muscle around the ship. 
uh, I noticed that you, uh, I've heard words that you got in a bit of a scuffle with the Nazir uh, stowaway and they found themselves impaled. So I, I suppose you can be of use to me uh, if you Perfect. pay half your fine up, up front. Seven gold. He can afford Seven. that. Seven? Barely, but he can. He can. I will never financially recover from this. Isn't like seven gold like seven hundred dollars? Yeah, no, oh, come on. They're like I don't have seven hundred in real life. He only has like ten. Oh man. Okay. Sixty seconds. Lower? Okay, I've been timing this entire time. As you uh try to uh negotiate, suddenly you feel the ship halt. Not just like it stopped sailing, but like it's been it's suddenly been yanked to a stop and you feel as though some sort of magical time altering magic has broken Whoa. as if it's been shattered and it feels like the the boat is currently stuck in place and you hear did, did the miss... crunching of wood from underneath you uh out from in the in the underground of the of the ship did miss captain accidentally counter too many spells no uh, I'm not. I'm not going to say what happened. You're. You're going to have to. You, oh. Liam. You said your. Uh, you said zeal was above the ship. Yeah, I was right? above deck. Yeah. Yeah. So you feel it halt to a stop. Make a quick dexterity uh, throw so you so you don't like uh, fall prone. That's d20 plus fall. dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Most of my modifiers are plus two. I got a twelve. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, you manage to grab onto something and stop yourself from falling to your your knees as uh, as the the ship is immediately just suddenly halted in in space uh, by something that has grabbed hold of it. Kraken, Cthulhu. Do me and okay. Eleanor need to make? Let me just say up front. <laughs> uh, I was considering those, and then I said that's really stupid. Anyone could do a kraken or like a big shark or something. That's real boring. No. Um, the so... next jaws. Chains from Poseidon or Poseidon wannabe. So, any... so anyways, continue. Oh. Uh, so if you want to run below deck, uh, I believe Lauren and uh, and Eleanor, uh, uh, Nia and Eleanor are already below deck. Did you walk out into the gambling area? No, we're kind of in the hallway, like at the beginning of the hallway okay. where there's a door at the basically what the, the ship is like is there is the main deck, which is just covered in like barrels and supplies and stuff. And then at the end there's a little captain's quarters. And above that is the steering wheel and all that stuff and like uh spyglasses and stuff. Uh uh below deck, uh there is like a little gambling area. There's the the ports for the for the cannons, and at the end, towards the front of the ship, there is a little door that leads into a hallway uh, filled with uh, individual rooms that have uh, uh, bedrooms and stuff. I so if we're you... kind of, I think we're kind of midway in the front area with all the rooms. Okay, so I, you can. Yeah probably uh, make your way to the end of the hall and open up if you want to check there. Did we have to make a um, check to see if we fell or not? Uh, you guys are not above deck, so I'm going to say it's uh, not really. You can just sort of touch the walls and you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. It's more because, can uh, I make an deck investigation deck? check and like look over the side to see what's happening, like if I can see anything? Definitely. I, can investi oh I got a six. You so close into the murky waters and <laughs> all of the the odd uh the odd darkness of the of the salt water is too unclear for you to peer into. Mm. Uh, I jump into the water. water. Do you suggest it? Um if you want. If you, you have want. rope? I do have rope yeah, and pythons. Have... Yeah. If you want to, you can like tie yourself up and jump in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. What do I have to roll? What, what do you want me to roll to? to you don't to have to roll for that. I'm just, just gonna walk okay. the plank. I, I get Please. a python. I attach the python on like the railing, and I tie a rope to, it and I, I sort of rappel down. Uh, Zeal shoves a a python into the railing, ties himself in a in a taut note, and leaps over the edge of the bow. Uh, as he as he rappels into the murky waters below. Uh, make a Constitution's uh check to see 
uh, how long you can hold your breath. Mm-mm. Imagine he's there, and then the captain just walks over and just snips I got a three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, no. You have, like, three seconds. <laughs> oh, no. Um, I use, I'm an acrobatics to get right back up. Roll. Sure, I'd say that's that's uh, about what you would need for swimming. <laughs> oh boy, got pneumonia. Okay, nineteen, we're good. <laughs> nineteen. You we're immediately good. swim back up to collect your breath as you as you were jumping in. Your lungs didn't quite uh, collect enough air. You you in the heat of the moment, you let out a Yahoo before you jumped in, not quite considering that you would need the air. <laughs> uh, already jumping in on an exhale. Uh, and you swim back to the surface to quickly grab your breath. Uh, but something grabs you instead. Make do I, a oh dexterity no. check. Do I get my breath, though? That's all I care about. You get your breath, yes. Then I, I, Make I, I, then I let it grab me. No, I let it grab me. Okay, unopposed dexterity. You feel an almost rigid, rocky f- sort of thing wrap around you and pull you down under the water, under the murky waves, as the as the waves begin to beat uh, violently against the boat. Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> That's minus one. See if you can do it. Got a four. four. Once again, the salt water blinds you, and, and you... My you eyes are just closed. As you... As you are pulled down through the water into the murky abyss, uh, mm. unsure of what lies below you. I hope there's no... Um, okay, let's go back to Zen. Is there anything Zen you would like to do? Uh, okay, so I make a deal with her, but she says she's. I have to pay her, right? Uh, at this moment, legal. as the boat begins to stop, you feel like she, she has more uh, uh, pressing matter. More on important. Her. She's like... Stay here. Die. I I I will deal with this. You stay here. Do not do anything. Do not touch anything. Do not leave this room. Leave I'll follow room. her. No, don't You're following follow her? her. Go in another direction. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna make her trust me, and I'm gonna make her, and I'm gonna run away. You're gonna need to convince her. You're gonna need to convince ah. her first that you're trusting. Okay, never mind. Then I just the moment stay. she leaves, I wait, and then I leave. You're not even uh, say you see you Amelia. Words. Oh, oh yeah. Hell, what a fucking banshee. <laughs> uh, Liam bleeped that. Um, what a banshee are oh, wailing on and on about. Eh, I'm sure she gets like at least five e buggers every time. I mean, what's even the point? E-buggers. She's got enough money already making me and my, my husband pay 15 gold for a ticket to Adizia. Like, some nerve on that one. <laughs> some people are just greedy to the bone. Or I guess whatever is in the tentacle. Uh, k- 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 chitin? I-, I don't know. Uh, just stay here, laddie. Uh, we-, we should probably wait this out, whatever it may be. I'm-, I'm sure we can muster some of our gold, help you help you pay off your debt. And, I- oh, and uh, you don't need to repay us. It- it's honestly, it's our pleasure to help young men like you get back on the right track. Uh, a-, a-, a healthy young lad like yourself shouldn't be rotting away in a cell or underneath the waves becoming shark food honestly uh just just stay out of trouble from now on Lottie. get yourself a good job do something good so while oh, they're having this conversation i'm gonna start walking towards them in that direction okay you 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 notice the captain and you follow after no i, I enter the room oh hey. oh you enter the okay you find zen again and you yeah. find the, the two dwarves and like Bloody hell, does anybody knock here? God, everyone <laughs> bursting into the damn room. I mean, I'm currently drowning. So... I'm in dog form. So it's yeah, not do- really... a dog walked in. It wasn't... A, do- a white dog walked in. Who let that mm. damn dog above the goddamn ship? Who I let swear, the dogs I out? I out. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, so Eleanor, I do you to follow the... me? Sorry, is Eleanor following me or... Eleanor, do you want to follow uh, dog Nia? Dog. dog. Yeah, I guess. Okay, Eleanor you follows going, no. uh, dog Nia. Um, Where are you going, bud? Bloody hell. Like, who are you? What do you want? This is my I'm very mom. sorry. 
Um, I get your bloody dog out of here. Why is it even? We don't have anything in here. It's it's, it's we don't have any food or anything. Hey. I don't but know why they came here. At this point, I'll turn back here. into my elf form. Just. Ay, Jesus! Ay, oh, you nearly my. gave me a heart attack, laddie. Ay. Listen here, Missy, don't oh, go an actual turn in a boot from a dog to a, to a person. Ay. Mm. Oh, goodness. Get out okay, of here! So mm. I ask um, Zen, kind of, what's happened? Oi, 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 you know them. Um, you know them. Yeah, I do. Why the hell did you barge into our rooms if you had a friend? Mm. Um, I mean, they're not really I don't my know friends. Any, uh... drunk. Oh, uh, oh, I got you. I got you. I don't know uh, any of you. Companions of the sort. I yeah. understand. They're my drinking buddies. No, oh, we're not. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I'll be his drinking buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm you currently drinking her. the sea. I don't know. But I'll be the designated <laughs> horse rear. Are there any more drinking buddies I should know about? One is drinking. One is probably drinking the sea, but. I don't know. What I he was is. only following her. What does that I don't... Mean? He doesn't oh, no. know. We'll see. <laughs> That's all wait, for. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can't I have? Uh, wait. No. Never mind. No, no, no. I take that back. Um. Okay. I don't know where um, the other one is. <laughs> so you hear a scream from out in the gambling room as uh as. It's not the captain, it's it's a sailor, as something is causing a commotion once more, and the ship begins to stir and shake in place. Hmm. Let's go investigate. Do you guys want to all run out? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yep. Okay, go, go right ahead. Do we need to roll anything? Do no, we... you, you just run out there if you want. Okay, oh, we all okay. run out. You guys right. all run out, including the, the young couple. Nice. We're all in the, the you know what? They're the young couple now. They, they yeah. were jokingly refer to themselves as a young couple. So the quote-unquote young couple uh, run out into the, into the lobby of the, of the gambling part of the ship, and you see a massive red coral-like tendril has pierced the bottom of the ship and it is now beginning to take on water as more and more of these coral tendrils begin to shoot up and uh, and pierce the ship. Oh my. Boy, uh, am I oh glad my. I'm not on that ship. Yep. Yeah, he, definitely. He's you just in the ocean. I'm just um, drowning. <laughs> so go right ahead, do what you guys want to do. Uh, have Talk fun. Talk to what I can do. And roll for initiative. I don't. Okay. I. I I'm I'll pretty sure I'm last. Yeah, if you I... can roll. Why not? Screw. It. Go for it. Whatever you want. Roll, roll for initiative, guys. I'm just automatically mm. gonna be. Actually, I'll roll too. Where is? Oh shoot! It's the giant thing that separately says initiative on your thing. Oh, plus one. Okay. Who would have so thought? I got a plus five. I have plus two. I have a seventeen. Did I? Oh, I got an eight. Then oh. am I gonna go first? Is the person stuck underwater gonna go first? Oh, At this man. point, yes. <laughs> oh, that's too rich. That is. Rich. We're in shock. That's what it is. That's You've already. Um. Oh shoot. I I still have the highest roll. <laughs> Finished. Has everybody rolled? No way. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Eleanor has. Okay. Uh, uh, Eleanor, got Eleanor got a six. Okay, so yeah. So you wa want to explain what the hell is happening? Uh, roll perception. You're underwater. No, I mean like, is some is is there like is something gonna happen? Like, I'm being dragged underwater. Is it gonna be like I get dragged to an air bubble or? Are just, you going just, to pass out? Just roll perception quickly. Hmm. -mm. I got a two again. <laughs> you once more are blinded by the sea and cannot see a thing. Um, just oh, do whatever you want from in Waka the Waka water as you are grappled by something being pulled further down. I'm still connected to the rope, right? You're still connected to the rope. Can I start pulling myself up? It hasn't quite pulled taut yet, but yeah, you can make a strength athletics check to try and pull yourself up. All right, that's plus three. Let's let's. 
Don't fail me now. Don't, don't stop me now. A 19. I'm having a good time. 19. Uh, let me roll. You a natural or a dirty 20? I don't think you can get a dirty 20 as a DM because I don't think you have modifiers. Uh, this thing does. Oh, it does? Oh, shit. Hey, okay, it's, it's not right enough. Oh, no. It, it's not enough as you uh, are managed to, as you pull against the rope, it is just strong and taut enough that whatever this almost stone-like uh, uh, material is, it's not flexible enough to pull you down further. It's too rigid to kind of maneuver to get a, a hold on you as you slip out of its grasp. Uh, take one damage just from being like ground against the rough surface of it. All um, right, but you, you are able to pull yourself to the surface. Okay. Um, can I, can I, um, do I, do I never roll acrobatics to get back on the ship? Uh, yeah, if you want. Uh, I got, I got a six. Uh, no. you don't make it on. Uh, I, I figured. You, oh, you try to like no. pull yourself up as you try to like climb on the side of the, the ship. However, you are so tired and depleted from your struggle under the waters against the, the strange tendril that has tried to pull you into the murky deep that you, you find yourself too weak to, to fight against the weight of gravity and you fall back into the waters. Um, it is now the creature's uh, turn, and it is going to... Uh, so as you are all uh, uh, in the gambling room, suddenly you feel as three massive uh, coral, uh, coral columns smash through the wooden yes. bow of the ship and begin to, uh, and begin to try and like uh, smash you from underneath. Uh, that's so cool. that's going to be... Roll... Um, three d twenty. Three d. That's an eighteen, a sixteen, and a fifteen. So it's going to uh basically hit all of you. You all get hit. What? Um, except now for me. Now make a dexterity. Make a dexterity check. Uh, uh see all if of us. You can <laughs> make a yeah a TC fourteen. Make Didn't make it. Um, Makes sense. Except Zen, for me, right? Hold on, De Declan. Do I have to roll? Uh, Oh, you don't roll, yeah, okay, uh, good. Zeal. Eleven. I, thought. That's what I didn't get the worst. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, Eleanor, you roll. Wait, I got eleven. Oh, what happens yeah. to me? You, you're gonna get hit. Oh, we're, we're still waiting. Oh. I'm gonna wait. Damn. So twenty, or are we it's doing a dexterity clock? saving throw? So yeah, it's a twenty plus whatever your dexterity. Which is zero. Is. It's zero for Eleanor. Oh. Zero. So yeah, just a D uh, or a uh, regular D twenty. Okay. Well, that's a twelve. So all of you get the word. You take roll. Um. Oh. You all take eight damage as a massive. Oh almost stony uh, colossal coral hand plunges up from the deep, deep and Medusa. smashes into you. Boy, I'm feeling good with my one damage right now. <laughs> yeah, I only have you're, you're just still in the ocean. Yeah, I'm just okay, still like, think... hanging on the side of the boat. Is it my turn? I feel like it's my turn. That is your... Uh, actually, who who goes after... Let's see here. I think it's me. Or it's... Um, I'm not too Jen. sure. I got it nine. was Zen. Yeah. What? What did I do? Zen, you go, and then I think oh. it's Lauren. And then yeah. It's Zen and Nia. Then so what do I have to do? Stop it. What do I have to do? So these giant. It's your your turn. current objective is move the ship, move the ship away from the water, get them to land as quick as possible. Mm. I'm assuming that was the captain. Yes. Uh, as you, so you are going to try and. I guess uh, try and get the boat free from these tendrils. My boat will be so helpful for that. There are currently four tendrils impaling the ship. So Zen, go right ahead. Uh, so what? After roll plus, hold on. I have to attack it, right? 
first roll the hit, so that's a d20 plus whatever it is to hit. So depending okay. on what you want to, what do you want to attack with? I am going to use uh, Firebolt. Oh, okay. That's an interesting move. Even though it's like water, but you know. Oh, no. Okay, I got 18. I think I'm, I'm doing a good amount. Jesus. Yeah, go for it, Zen. So that's, uh, you hit it. Now roll mm -hmm. a d10, I believe. Is it a d10? Uh, are you sure? D10? Let me take a look see again. Yeah, Firebolt is 1d10. Okay. Nine. Damn it. You make a powerful incantation as uh as you channel the oh, fire and you that's nine out of ten that's amazing <laughs> yeah you yeah. know I, I just got confused with the 20 down onto the stony wet pillar and oh yeah you can tell like it's semi-organic it definitely does hurt it as it's burnt to a almost a complete crisp however hmm. it is resistant to fire damage and therefore it takes half damage rounded down it does four damage to it it is bloodied it is almost shattered uh nice. as as this happened how is it bloodied after taking four damage <laughs> don't, don't it's, question it's only, that. A ten, it's only a tendril okay. so uh so that specific tendril so is i bloodied. believe it's nia's turn now nia what would you like to do um one is it alive yeah it can't, it, it's organic it I seems to be alive and organic it's to organic. some capacity Okay, yeah. let me try to cast um, some sleep on it then. Okay. Ooh. What? I'm going to cast it as a second level spell because then more of a chance I'll be able to, you know, hit it with the sleep. Because it's RL 5d8 and if, well, 7 because I'm casting a second level. If I get to the hit point, then it's effective. If it's not, it doesn't count. So. Go, for Go it. ahead and roll. D8, right? I know I just said it, but now I'm saying this. Yeah. Uh, 5D8, yeah. 23! Uh, you, as you channel all this magical energy that should incapacitate any regular creature, uh, you... You infuse it with the power of a sleepy dream, but it seems as though this creature is something that doesn't even require rest. <laughs> it's it's oh, something that no. does that isn't physically capable of sleeping. So like a dark continues. elf. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so uh, the drawing uh, board then on that uh, one. Eleanor now. Now it is. Now it is. Uh, Eleanor. Eleanor's turn. Um, I'm gonna try to attack. Go for it. Um, what are you going to attack with? You have a few options. Uh, you can attack with, um, either, uh, your most powerful offensive spell is Guiding Bolt. Uh, if you want to just attack with like something, you can use your mace. Um, can I try Guiding Bolt? In addition, you also have. Huh? Can I try? Oh yeah, you can use guiding bolt totally. Um, so first level, you can uh cast four spells. So yeah, you start off with guiding bolt. Uh, roll a d twenty plus four. Okay. Twenty two. 22. Uh, one moment. Okay, I thought that was... Phew. Yeah, that is crazy good. Um, you can... You channel the power of the Moon Maiden as you feel yourself flare with radiantly uh, lunar energy, and from your hands shines a blinding uh, radiance and streaks through uh, the uh, the uh, columns of coral, smashing the the previously seared one uh, on death's door to pieces, and and crumpling another uh, behind it. So you did put two of the four. Uh, Eleanor did what hit 
to uh she finished off the one you started and then she killed another. Um what do I okay. roll again? Wait, so is Eleanor's uh, kill count at two? That's not allowed. Yeah. It's she has two. One creature if you want or to technically picked. one. Okay, so um, she technically uh, hasn't one, killed think? anything. She's just immobilized two of its tendrils. You roll you forty her, what did you say? Forty six. What? You roll four d6. Okay. Yeah. Why would you eight. do that? Definitely. Oh, you she got an eight. eight. Whoa. Three ones yeah. in a row? I heard 46. I didn't hear four d6. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you got it now. Um, as you guys, um, as you guys shatter these, these, uh, these uh coral uh tendrils uh they burst out and shatter into coral shards everyone make a uh dexterity saving throw uh not you liam you are currently under <laughs> plus one 19 Probably let's go 20. that's success it's a dc 50 <laughs> after 20 20 15. that is a dirty 20 damn Okay, so, oh. we, so far we got 19, we got 20. Okay, uh, that is, yeah, it's a dexterity check. Do you guys hear that? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, sort of. Uh, I heard, I heard the tick, tick. Is it tapping? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's my water. So, yeah, bottle. Eleanor, it is Eleanor. It's just a regular D20. Uh oh. That is an ultimate success. Um, you so, should have built into it. Four. Oh. All of you take five damage. Or, no, wait, it's it's rounded down uh, half. So it will be two damage. Two from, damage. Oh, from okay. Shards. All right, let's finish the shards these up. Spill out and slash you across the body. So 21. Oh. Okay. Let's finish up about nine health. Let's kill these things. Let's take them down. So two damage, right? Uh, two damage, yes. Okay. So How I dare have... they ruin our trip? I know, right? Your your nice relaxing um ship summer room, vacation uh, had just turned uh, into uh, a nightmare. Yeah, like, to uh, a, a place of your paradise, uh, Eleanor, you feel as as if this is what your god had had sent you to do. This is is what your calling is to fight monsters alongside others. Uh, to to do the goodwill of the sword maiden. Believe Today's it, my turn. I have stupid. another spell I can throw at it. Yeah, so I sort of broke the website, so I just sort of re reopened my character sheet. Because <laughs> sort of, <laughs> you just you just shattered the website. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> so so who's Why do I look so yellow? Yeah, after Eleanor, it's me, right? Yeah, it is back to Lee, uh, Zeal. Yeah, all right. I um, Zeal. I I attempt to get back on top of the ship again. So acrobatics. Uh, roll acrobatics. Yes. Hmm. What does he get? What does he get? He gets another a six. Another six. Another six. I'll let you take another perception check and an action because I don't want to leave you hanging there. <laughs> a perception check. Oh my. You just... You don't want him hanging there for the whole entire. I got nine, nine. for the perception. We'll pull him up after. Um, and, and you know what? My one. action. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I know the creature's like somewhere behind me, right? One second. What are my magic arrows? One second. Features and traits. Uh, arcane archer. Okay, I have an arcane shot. Not yeah. So bursting arrow. Can I shoot a bursting arrow straight down? Yes. Roll. Uh, yeah. Roll the hit. Alright, because it does everything in 10 feet gets hit, so, um... <laughs> 10 feet, uh... That's what a bursting mm. arrow does. Everything in 10 feet of the... After it does the initial piercing, because the arrow, then it goes boom, and everything in 10 feet gets blown up. Oh, from the arrow, okay. Yeah, not from me. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, go for it. I got 19 to hit, so no, looking good. Hit. We love how when I actually like, go to do, like, attacks, or, like, persuasion... Yeah, his attacks are I'm better. I'm like, great. I'd try to do anything else. <laughs> and it says no. 
All right. So you one try to eight. scale back up, but you, you falter once more. And in an act of desperation, you draw your longbow and recoil a bursting arrow and let it loose into the ocean, uh, letting it skewer whatever may lay below. So uh, the, it does the skewer skin. first. So it does 1d8 plus 2 for the skewer. So roll that. So that's that's the skewer. It does 5. And then it does okay. another... What What's the other one? I'm scrolling down. It does another 2d6 for every creature okay, within that. 10 feet. Um, hmm. I'm going to say every... I'm going to say the bursting arrow would be able to hit about 4. Uh, four worth of All right. creature. Well, I got a 10 out of the possible 12, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So that is 15 damage, right? Yeah, and the 10 is to everything you're going to let it hit. Yeah, so uh, as it's obvious, I'm a I'm a useless DPS character right now. <laughs> That's all we need right now. It is bloody, I will say that. It is definitely on death's door. The entire um, creature? The entire creature. Oh, I mean, yeah, because if I did 10 to 4 of them, that's 40... Plus the five. That's 45. Hmm. How many do I have? <laughs> we're just going to be fighting for an eternity. I mean, no, I got it below half. So we're good. Just it do another 45. Turn once more. It is now its turn once oh, more. Oh, it's going to attack me. Tendrils. Three more tendrils uh, shoot up, except one of them is not going to attack. Uh, shoot, uh, me. Roll. 1d3. It's not going to attack uh, uh, Nia. So oh, one uh, of them is gonna, gonna... It's gonna attack me, I swear. Oh, please don't. That is a natural one. Um, As it's grasping tendrils attempt, attempt to smash through the floorboards, they kind of just thunk off the bottom of the boat, and the just one bump. that went to grab at uh, Zeal uh, falters as it feels a bit of pain uh, and it is uh, once again debilitated by its its pain and I think I just stopped recording <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay. oh, that so reminds me a while back we're gonna have to split that uh, up again um, that's, that's fine. just say it again, just say your whole thing again so I can just go so the the collection of of tendrils once more emerge from the deep and they thunk off the bottom of the boat uh and they reach for zeal in an act of of revenge yet the pain of his arrows that had skewered its body uh make it recoil and flinch in in desperation uh and 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 horrid pain oh my gosh my phone was about to die Oh, you oh, no. get a charging block. I, I I just want to say I love Mine's how we're currently all charging beside me. I just want, we're all out tanking the tank. Yes. We're tanking the tank. <laughs> Which is like Ready his main tank ability. Yeah, I know, but still, at the moment, we've all out tanked the ah. tank. Yeah. Okay, okay, so moving on. Why didn't you rage? Me? You've killed the tank. has rage. It's fine. We'll learn as we go. Wait, you're talking about me? Yeah, yeah you have I'm an ability called you. Rage that makes you get stronger oh. for a bit. Stronger. I mean, I don't really need to do that, do I? Not really, no. It's We're like doing the fine main right now. thing about being a barbarian. But yeah, you can't cast spells when you're raging, to be fair. Which is a big yeah, thing. Yeah, so is... I can't really use my long rage attacks. Ra yeah. Rage is purely for like close Because I range. also do want to do something else besides Firebolt. Yeah. Right now, we're not really close. So, yeah. Um, and then she left me. <laughs> you guys are Ooh. in the same cabin. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. But anyways, that's I, I see besides you as a friend. So, I believe it is Zen's turn now. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Ooh. my turn. I want to use Thunderclap. Wait. Actually, Thunderclap yeah, would be thunderclap. a really good option. Yeah. Wait, so... Everyone plug uh, their ears. Seal is already out of the water, right? No, I'm still uh, in the water. Uh, Z you still in the water? Yeah. Oh, left. Thunder damage is different than lightning damage. I I feel like I need to remind. Yeah, thunder you. is oh, noise. Okay, okay, okay. Then no, Th it's... thunder is noise. Oh, you know, if it was lightning okay. damage, I'd be well, screwed because we're in seawater, which conducts electricity better. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna do one d six for thunderclap, right? Uh, roll the hit. Actually, yeah. What what's thunderclap? One second. Let me take a look to see if you need to roll the hit because I feel like it's an AOE attack. 
You create a burst of thunderous sound that can be heard up to 100 feet away. Each creature within range, other than you, must concede uh, a constitution. Okay, one second. Oh, um, okay. From the deep. But what if I'm through a wall? Would that work? Everybody make a constitution saving throw. All right. This okay. is not going to end well. Plus three. I'm going to die from this. 20 plus two, I think. I got a 14. Two. I got a nine. <laughs> one. Let's go, baby. 21. Oh, yeah. So anyone that rolls below a 21 take damage. Mm. How oh. much? Dude, that sucks. Oh, so sorry, all of guys. us. Um, how all much? Of you guys get hit. 21. And if you get anything above 21, then. Yeah, but how much damage do you take? How much damage? Oh, how much uh, damage? Wait, did everyone uh, roll yet? Um, yeah. Uh, it's 1d6, by the way. 1d6. Oh, well. So he so so, me. do we roll our own one d six, or does does Zen roll his one d six to see how much damage we I take? I think I roll my one d six. He rolls uh one d six. I'm yes. confused. <laughs> roll. Okay, so basically, I did a roll move a that can hit anyone. Eleanor. Okay. Uh, El Eleanor. Zen is roll. trying to kill us. Not he, really. He's trying to hurt everyone in the area. But yeah. Okay, so roll one d six. I really want to be a high yeah, number to kill the monster, but if he gets a high number, I will Three. die. Three, all right. I'm at 21 now. I'm at six. That is just enough to finish off the boss. Yes. <laughs> As the quarrel begins to shatter around you. That was a sacrifice you know, I was willing to make. That, I'm, I'm, uh, that was worth it. it. <laughs> you notice as the columns don't just break up in the ship, but they begin to crackle all the way down to a monster, and as your eyes finally adapt to the seawater, you see an almost brain-like collection of, of pulsing coral that, that makes, like, a sphere, and inside it, you see a, an enormous eyeball. And so it, who are you talking to? Uh, Zeal. Zeal, you see the enormous yeah. eyeball radiates with Boy, am I glad I didn't let myself get dragged down there. <laughs> <laughs> and you see an enormous, like, congealing mass of of coral that that in its its flaps has trapped skeletons flaps. of of dead pirates and and any fish unfortunate enough to get close to its grasp. Um, my phone. <laughs> the Bleep that out. The thing that was recording. No, no, we I have to cut that whole thing out. He dropped his recording camera. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, Come no. on, man, dude! Oh no, I'm um, pulling my. I'm back. That yeah. was me dropping my phone. So, anyways, okay. um, we need to keep that in. So you you <laughs> notice as the rainbow essence of its eyes begins to dim into a dull gray, and the the creature begins to to darken, and its coral, once colorful with red and yellow. Uh, fade to a deathly, <laughs> a deathly gray, and oh. uh, Seal, you are pulled back onto the ship by the rope by a, oh, a yeah. crew of sailors as you as you sail off, and on the coastline you view the kingdom of Adizia, a cool. Disneyland oasis paradise, I, I, and above definitely. it floats the floating city of Adizia. It's Disneyland. hanging gardens for all to see, and its wonderful, splendorous uh, magnitude uh, propelled amongst the land oh. by unknown magics. That's cool. Now, but I have three questions. One. Go ahead. Oh, where did he go? Spot. Anyways, oh. one. I'll welcome back. Aren't there still holes welcome in the boat? Back. Two. Yes. How big are the holes in the boat? Uh, three. What about okay. the water that's currently in the boat? Uh, sailors begin to rush in and repair the. Well, the no, hole of no, the boat. Declan, Declan, how big are the holes? Because I have mending that's any any damage of one foot or less. Ooh. Uh, the coral tentacles were probably less than a foot in diameter. If you want to help, so I can just mend the holes. I can Go for it. I can mend at least. Okay, so yeah, that. Okay, then in that case, done. sailors <laughs> rush in with buckets and begin bailing out all the. <laughs> I should touch buckets. every hole. <laughs> like, okay. Whoa. You, uh, you can whoa. Do your uh, your tattoo begins to glow in its brilliant blue and violet as as your uh, magic of the of the of the dragon mark 
flares and you begin to mend the boat. Um, pow, 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 pow. And, you know, each one takes yeah. a minute to pew, close, pew, but pew. Um, it takes a minute to cast. They begin to, cast yeah, the it, it, they begin to seal up it as, as the actual uh, wood begins to mend again. Uh, and you guys sail off into the distance, into the kingdom of Adizia. Disneyland. Hopefully. So the, yeah, reason, the reason that spell is cool, <laughs> though, is because let's say I'm fighting someone and I have, like, a stick. I can just have mending constantly being casted as they swing at me, and it will just constantly repair as they're trying to hit me. As we end this session off, uh, we uh, sail off into the distance of the beautiful, beautiful land of Adizia, and it's that's bad. where we're going to leave it for now. Tune in what? next Sunday what? for the oh, only nine. What? Already? It's only nine. Uh, I'm going Aww. to say uh, that that will be the end of it for now uh, as we oh. wait for the conclusion Aww. to this beautiful, uh, beautiful quest. Uh, mainly because I want to leave you all on a cliffhanger. Uh, ah, so there we go. Okay. I have you? McDonald's on the way, so it's fine. All right. Well, I guess. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. We start the podcast with a drill. We end it with a drill. Oh my! Please tell okay, me that's it. That's that's it. That, that's it. I, uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.